I'm Felicity Liggins and I'm a climate change consultant here at the Met Office. The Met Office is not only interested in the impact that weather might have on our health, but also the impact that climate change might have. Rising temperatures, changing rainfall patterns and more severe weather events could have significant impacts on our health throughout the 21st century. Human beings will be able to adapt to climate change, but not if those changes are too rapid. The economically deprived, the young, the elderly and those situated in vulnerable positions such as on the coast could see dramatic impacts of climate change throughout the rest of this century. Met Office Science can help people understand what these changes might be on monthly, seasonal and decadal timescales. In 2003, much of Western Europe experienced an almost unprecedented heat wave. Nearly 35,000 people died as a result of the increased temperatures, 15,000 of which were in France and nearly 2,000 here in the UK. Many died as a direct result of the heat through conditions such as heat stroke, but for many it was heart attacks and strokes that caused the biggest problems. Modelling here at the Met Office Hadley Centre has shown that by 2040, such a summer could be an average one, and by 2060, the temperatures we experienced back in 2003 could represent a cool summer. Met Office scientists and climate researchers around the world are projecting that throughout the rest of the 21st century, we are likely to see more severe weather events as a result of climate change. Flooding is one of the biggest health risks we face, and in 2007, nearly 8,000 people died as a direct result of flooding around the world. Cholera, typhoid, gastroenteritis and even mental health problems can dramatically increase after flooding and pose significant risks to the lives of people. Cities are often warmer than the surrounding countryside due to something called the urban heat island effect. People who live in cities can experience significant health problems as a result of living in urban environments such as asthma, rhinitis and even heat stroke, particularly at times of heat wave. Projections for the future show that with climate change we're likely to experience increases in temperature in urban environments and these could have significant impacts on the health of people. Met Office Science can help planners and urban designers, healthcare practitioners and the general public understand what the impacts of climate change might be in our urban cities across the UK and also around the world. It's often said that climate change could have an impact on the geographical spread of infectious diseases around the world. Our climate models are used both here at the Met Office and at other climate research centres to look at how infectious diseases such as malaria, Lyme disease and dengue could change in the future. For example, malaria may extend up into the Ethiopian highlands where it's not currently seen as a result of rising temperatures and variations in rainfall, whereas northern Europe and other parts of North America might see higher instances of Lyme disease as the ticks are able to survive the cold winters and move further north. So we've heard how rising temperatures, flooding and infectious diseases could all have negative impacts on people's health around the world throughout the rest of this century, particularly when combined with food security issues and water supply problems. But it's not all negative. By reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, making positive lifestyle choices and implementing greener technology, not only will we reduce the impact of climate change, throughout the rest of the century, but also they will bring about positive health benefits. For more information, please visit our website and thank you very much for watching.